Hello everyone, this is Ben Ray from iForm Builder. Uh, this video will demonstrate how to use the iForm Builder post and insert data into a Google Docs spreadsheet from that. Um, so actually an article was developed uh, by one of the iPhone Builder users that has implemented this. This was a few years back, so I figured I'd make a video on it. Um, but essentially I'll, I'll post a link to where to get this, uh, this PDF that walks through it. But actually we'll click on this URL in here. And first what it's going to do is have me sign into my Google account. And it's going to make a copy of the spreadsheet that this user has provided us. Um, so I'm going to hit sign in here. Yes, please make a copy. Um, now that I have a copy built here, what I can do is I'll be able to go in. Uh, we'll see there's three different tabs here. iForm data, where the data is going to be housed, which will change these columns to match the columns that I have in my form. Uh, XML post. <clears throat> so this actually shows the last post that was sent and uh, all the data with that as well as the web service transactions. This is holding the date that they were happening, who did this, and the outcome of that. So if there's any errors, this is where you go to see that. So what we're first going to do is go into Tools and then Script Editor. Um, now inside of here, we're going to see this script that this user has put together for us, and this shows for his post example how, how to make this possible. Um, so a few things we're going to have to change here to make this work is first the spreadsheet name. So this is how we designate what spreadsheet the data is going to be going into. So I'm going to go to this spreadsheet here, copy the key here at the end, and all the way up to the hashtag GID. So copy that. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paste this right into here. So now we've updated that sheet. Um, and then next I'm actually going to go down to here and see where all these, uh, these data fields are. So instead of safe experience, overall statistics, comments, and email, I'm going to use a few different fields. Um, so let's go back into the form builder here and get these three fields. We're going to use enter name, so I'm going to copy that, paste it into here. I'm also going to use enter age, copy that, and paste it into the experience section. Then I'm going to do the same thing here with date of birth, copy that, and paste it into the overall st satisfaction section. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these last two. These don't don't matter in this scenario. Um, so essentially what's happening right now is it's saying, okay, we're going to put it into this sheet. Here's three other sheets that we can use for this. Um, when it receives the post, it's going to look through and take the ID, created date, created by, modified date, modified by, and my three fields from the form. And actually insert those into specific fields in the, uh, in the data sheet. So that's all we'll have to do there from a setup perspective. Um, now I'm going to go back into the sheet here and just change these to the uh, the correct ones. So I'm first I'm going to just delete all this data out of here. And then I'm going to go change these three fields back to the ones that we have. So enter name, enter age, and date of birth. Now once that's completed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the um, back to the iForm section here and sorry back to the script and inside of here we're going to go publish and well first let's save it and then publish and deploy as a web app <clears throat> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to name this version here so uh, version one save a new version and project version one who has access anyone even anonymous so we'll deploy this um, hit ok and just to be safe, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to create one new version of this um, and make sure we have everything set up from the, uh, the Google Docs side. Um, so before I build this next version, there's one thing we have to do in here. Um, we have to use a specific key here. So I'm just going to use this as Ben Test. Now this is going to be used in the iPhone Builder post section as well. So I'm going to say Ben Test. Let's save this. Now let's make another version here. So File, Manage Versions. And I'm just going to say changed to Ben test. Save this new version. OK. Now, finally, what we're going to do is go and publish and deploy it as a web app again. We're going to deploy the second version and update that. Now, here's the URL. So, whenever we hit this URL, it's automatically going to run this do post function here above. So, I'm just going to paste this in here to see what URL we're using and what it's actually going to execute. 
Um, so once that's complete, what we got to do is go into Forms and Form Assignment in iForm Builder. And then we're actually going to go to the fo uh, fo form I created, so in Google, Google Docs Post. I'm going to hit Assign. And in here, we're going to actually be creating a new endpoint, right? So I'm going to go into here, choose New Endpoint. I'm going to call this Send to Google Docs. The URL is what we copied from Google. We're actually going to send XML to this, and we're going to call this key value pair. So our key is going to be Ben test, what we used earlier in the uh, in the script. And I'm just going to put in my email address here for the email error as well as the notification, and I'm going to turn guaranteed delivery on. Now, once I create that endpoint, now I'll be able to go into my form and submit that form. <coughs> so let me pull up my device here on the screen again. So there's actually one final thing that we need to do on here. We need to go back into the Google script itself and uh, choose the function we're going to try to run here and hit play. Now, before this function will run, we have to actually authorize it to run. So I'll choose continue. And then after that, I'll be able to choose accept. So now it's actually going to try to run the function. Again, it's not going to work because there's no data being sent to it. So what we can do now is, uh, is go back and fill out a copy of this record here. So I'm going to open up the iForm data and then fill out this form here. So Ben Ray, enter an age, enter a date of birth. And when I hit done, what it's going to be doing is sending the post directly to this Google Sheet. And there should be a few fields that pop up right in here if we did everything correctly. All right, so here's the data. It was passed across since we authorized the script to run. Now every record that comes through and is submitted via this form will be added into this Google spreadsheet and you can do whatever types of reporting or anything else you'd like to do on this sheet. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful in, in kind of showing how to take iPhone builder data and post it directly to a, a Google sheet.